Okay. Okay, Willie from Venom Central. We're at work today. And we're going to show you how we feed some of our baby black headed Bushmaster, the Jesus Melon Sophila. Now, these guys were hatched out last summer. But they are just as ferocious as the big ones. And where are my tongs? Got my curator pointing at me. <laughs> show you how these guys really work on a heat signature. Little devils. Even at this size, they've got that eye flap. Yeah, we jiggle them around. We want them to know it's alive. I think it's alive anyways. And look at here. This snake just ejected a fang. See that? Even the little ones shed their fangs constantly. And it's pretty common for the baby Bushmaster. They do this probably every four to six weeks. We're going to buzz through several of them here. These are going to be some of our future breeders here in Cape Fear Serpentarium, which is now Venom Central, Cape Fear's Serpentarium. And this one is in shed, but it does not matter with these guys. They eat no matter what. It's one of the few snakes you can actually feed in blue. Notice how they grab and hang on. They don't bite it and release it. They grab it and hang on to it. Got my pit bull. They are the pit bull of the snake world. That's for sure. You guys are almost ready. Chris, you want to come around this side and get over my shoulder or right here? Let's let him pick up a thermal. Let's make them work for it. There's thermal head bobbing. Ah, there you go, buddy. Little monsters. Now these babies are approximately seven, eight months old. And we got a bunch of them. I had a couple of different clutches last year. Along with the Stenophries and the Mudas and the Melanosophilus, but Everybody's always bugging us. Why don't we sell some? Why don't we sell some? Nope, me and Chris are keeping them all for ourselves. <laughs> there you go, buddy. I mean, how many do you really need to sustain a good breeding colony? You need at least 100, right? So, at least, yeah. I think this is going to be an important snake in the future. Not only for herpetology and mind research and everything else so that's why we're not selling them we keep them and get them all big this guy's in blue and he's gonna eat anyways They're 
not a shy snake, not at all. They're, they're aggressive. They're not fearful of anything. They're pretty confident in themselves. That's going to be a pretty one, too. It's going to be a separate clutch. <laughs> this is just one of our rooms in our Bushmaster facilities. And Chris showing the mansion wipers. This is actually the mother to a handful of them babies I just showed you. She gave me a clutch last year. And her color don't show up in the video. Either. Yeah, her color doesn't show up. She's really golden black. And these are some, of our, blue. some of our mansion vipers. We're working on a project with them. And you can see how we run our Bushmaster rooms. 70% humidity, 77 degrees. And that's a constant. These snakes like it cool with the high humidity. And they're kept fairly dry, but humidity is a key to keeping the things right. This is one of our prize animals right here. That's a striped phage, the Chesis melanocephala. And it's a female, and she may be ready to go next year. We'll see if we can prove that out, see if it's a genetic trait, or if it's just a fluke. We've got a couple like that. But just share some of the stuff we do. This is a normal day of work here at Dunham Central. Checking out.